I am going to, let's see. I got a new fire extinguisher for the Z. I am putting on, I'm fixing my battery for the Monty. And then I have some updated tag stickers for the G. Because tomorrow I'm probably driving this to a video shoot. So I'm not sure yet. Look, look at the baby. My boo baby. I have something that I think I need. So the last time I went to the racetrack, um, there were like three car fires. And then I was on Facebook and stuff. And then I noticed that a lot of other cars were catching on fire. And now it's getting warmer. I think that it might be time for me to add a fire extinguisher to my car. So after doing some research, I decided to get this type because another person, he has it in his car. And the fire extinguishers that they have that usually put in my car is like they need the maintenance. And then also after one use, it kind of like doesn't become so operable because you have to maintain it. So that's why I got this about this fire extinguisher. It lasts for 50 seconds. The other fire extinguishers that we usually see, they only last about 15 seconds, and this lasts for full 50 seconds. Also, I like the size of it. The size of it is very convenient, because like I said, this is the 350Z, and like to put this anywhere in the car isn't as bad as that huge fire extinguisher you use. Um, the other thing I like about this is like, I'm going to actually mount this onto my harness bar. Um, so that's also a plus. And they also have different mounting devices for this. I chose to try the magnetic one. This one's a little cheaper than the strap. And then I'm actually going to probably paint that magnetic one. So the magnetic one. This is the magnetic one that they have. The only thing I don't like about it is it's chrome. And I don't like chrome stuff. So. I'm gonna have to refinish this in something. Uh, there's like a little screw here, so maybe I can take it off and wrap it. Or I might paint it. I don't know, we'll see. I need that on site, so I don't know. Whatever I do, it's gotta be quick. So, yeah, this is the element, and then on this part, you see, it's just basically, you take the bottom end and the top end, and then you slice it together, and that's what starts the, the um, combustion of chemicals to start putting out the fire. So yeah, this is what the element looks like. this will save me if I ever have a fire. Hopefully I'll never need it. <laughs> but it's always better to have one than not have one. And then I will be getting another one for this car. Because, you know, old school, you never know what's going to happen with them. So I will get a fire extinguisher, the element one for you. I do want to say one more thing about this. So the last time I was at a car meet, I overheard somebody talking about how their fire extinguisher actually exploded in their car. So with this, it will not explode. Like you literally have to detach the top part and strike it with the bottom part to make this activate. And also it doesn't expire. A lot of the other fire extinguishers actually expire. So that's why this is another great option. Uh, I paid around $70 for this and then the mount was $15. So for $80 and no maintenance and it lasts forever, I think this is the better bet, especially because of the size too. So after I'm done painting, I decided I'm going to paint the other part. After I'm done painting it, I will show y'all what it looks like.